will be forever changing the way that you look at your school notes with a few simple tools and tricks I will be sharing with you my top tips for note taking this year. Say goodbye to your old spiral notebooks and composition books because these Erin Condren journals are so perfect for school. I love these coiled notebooks with the dry erase boards in the front, perfect for writing down when your assignments are due. I chose the lined, but you can also do the dotted or the productivity pages. They come in two different sizes, which is perfect if you like to have smaller notebooks. They also have stickers in the back and a dry erase board. You can also change out the covers with the season, so I will be definitely getting a fall one. Another great option is their Erin Condren journals, also available in two sizes with lined, dot grid, or productivity. You can also do the jot notebooks. These also have a blank option, which is really great. I will have a 10% off code for you down below. So let's set up our bullet journal for school. You're first going to need a legend where your indicators will go. This will help you organize everything that you're taking down in class so that way it's very easy to go back and study. As you can see here, I have all of my indicators for each class. The color code system will make much more sense as I explain how the index system works so that way when we organize our notes you will be able to find everything super easy and fast. Now the index is going to keep track of all of your units and everything that you're studying. I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can set up your index. This is by far the most simplest, very similar to a table of contents in your textbook, but I like to take it a step further by adding some more indicators. As you can see here, I just divide up the chapters in the book and the page numbers. The next way is dividing up the chapters into subjects that are within the chapters and the page numbers that are with the reference. So we chose World War II and it has a list of all of the important dates and where I can find them in my notes. So that way as I'm flipping through, if I wanna know exactly where my notes are about Pearl Harbor, I know that they're from pages nine to 12. Now here's where it becomes a much more functional way to plan your notes. I have an additional section for chapter reviews, needs explaining, study guides, and wrong test questions. Now that's not even something I used to do with my school notes, but I wish that I had because it would have made studying and reviewing so much faster and so much more efficient. By the time you get to your test, you'll be able to track back all of the things that you may not have remembered or understood as you were going through the chapter and it's all right there already for you. You don't have to do much backtracking on your own. That way, when you go to study, you can just get to studying. You don't have to worry about anything else. I'm color coding them. That way, when I go back to study, I can see clearly where the questions are that I need to find. Now, here's another example of how you can index. Here, we're actually taking out specific things from multiple pages to organize. See how page nine was listed two times? That's because I wanted to remember that I had two things on that page that were really important. Since one of them was a calculation or an equation, I'm going to highlight it in pink. And because the other one was a vocab word, I'm going to highlight it in blue. So let's do a little recap so you understand how this legend and index system works. Don't forget to add your page numbers as well. So the legend and the index can be used for things like notes, separate classes, chapter reviews, study guides, question pages, not understanding things, exam reviews, labs, vocab, creative writing, movie notes, infographics, and pictures. This works for every type of class that you have, and we will be doing the same structured note pages as my last video, which I will have linked down below. You have your cues for questions on the left, notes in the center, and a summary at the bottom. I recommend keeping the bulk of your notes in the same format to easily organize them. Use side tabs to distinguish chapters and units, and if you want to indicate things on the top tabs, use those for things like test reviews, questions that you may want to go back to. Now to organize your notes so that way you can flip to things very quickly, I recommend using color coordinated tabs on the sides so when you turn it over you can see all of them in one spot. Now I'm going to share with you how I do these Dutch door inserts. These are available for print, they're free for you guys, and we're going to start off with math. Sometimes you need a quick reminder of an equation or a certain formula, and these fold out pages are perfect for that because you can stick them in the back of your notebook, just tape them in, and when you get to a question that you're not sure about, just unfold them and they're there for you, ready to use. You don't have to flip through your textbook to find them. These are also really great for history classes or literature classes when you need to remember certain people. So there is one for important historical figures. 
these fold out pages make great tracker pages as well if you wanted to track down the chapters that you've read in a book to track your reading assignments. Just make sure that when you print them out, they are sized for the notebook that you chose. Sometimes we get a little lost in the hustle and bustle of school and keeping a grade tracker available with you all times is really helpful and keeps you accountable. So this one is also available. You can keep it in the back of your notebook and see how you're doing in the class. You can put the subject in there and on the left side, write down what it was, if it was a test or a quiz, and on the right side, write down the grade. Also, these Erin Condren sticky pockets are perfect for keeping loose papers in your journal or notebook. They have a 3M and you can stick them on the pages or right in the back. Super convenient and you get a pack of three. I wanted to give you guys an inside look at one of my bullet journals that I take notes in all about biochemistry. I'm not in school right now, but this is my own personal studies. I write down things that I want to research and look up. As you can see, you don't have to have a linear note page section. You can have all kinds of different note pages in school. This is all of my stuff that I do for my macro plans for you guys. I like to keep myself very knowledgeable. You can also skip pages. That's something that um, if you know you're going to be writing more on one subject you can do that so let's recap shall we first of all I will be showing you my index it's a little bit different because I don't have a textbook everything is online or lecture based so I have a pretty simple index system I do have a color code system though which I marked my equations and also the vocabulary as you can see here it's just easier for me to see what's in my notes that way now this is a different form of note taking because it's charts and graphs, but here is the basic form that we will be using throughout the note section that I think is the most ideal for taking a lot of notes quickly. You put all of your cues, questions, indicators on the left side here as I did on this page. I also had gone ahead and highlighted some more vocab words. Now these types of words I use for reference pretty frequently, so this would be the perfect time to use one of these fold out sheets. So that way if I need to see what it is real quick because I don't remember, I can easily just flip it open and I'm good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and were able to take some tips away for how you guys can do your own notes. If you guys are interested, you should stay tuned because my next video is all on homework and studying tips and you do not want to miss this. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.